There's a gun in his right hand and his groceries in his left. A man is tackled by a cop who just charged him with theft. A judge puts him behind bars and takes six years from his life. He takes him from his home, his four kids and his wife. But the judge doesn't care that this man isn't getting paid and that welfare checks just aren't enough to support the family that he's made. A drop in the economy cost him his job, but he isn't the only one because the officer who locked him up has money now, but he came from none. We're seven billion in a world and none of us are the same, yet we're all equal in the eyes of those who often take our blame. The blame for our ignorance that turn into our mistakes, they bring light to a dark society we call the human race. While it's possible to love, it won't happen in our time. Because when hostility outweighs empathy, the mind is selfishly blind. We're caught up in an idea for a place in the perfect world, often putting ourselves above others who are undeservingly condescended tenfold. We believe that world is parallel to what should be perceived as here and now. The idea is to turn fantasy into reality, but the question is when and how. So we treat ourselves as royalty, a monarch in our rule. But when you think you're ahead of somebody else, if it were true, wouldn't somebody be ahead of you? On his drive home that night, the officer got a flat. In a neighborhood unsafe, he stepped out ready for combat. With his gun in his left hand and a flash in his right, this officer was shot and never made it home that night. Society now blames karma for being so strong, yet they ignore all that's right and they remember to do wrong. And it's not even the irony that makes me so nervous. It's when we prioritize to criticize rather thank him for his service. The man stained with his blood now stands before a state and it's the same judge responsible for the earlier man's fate. Well, the judge goes home that night to a bed tucked in well, meanwhile the men he's convicted are decaying in a cell. It's wrong to break the law, even when intent is pure, because the judge doesn't see a human, he sees disease without a cure. He thinks it's too late for you, there's no belief in second chance. If you believed in lesson learned, he'd lose honor in finance. Next time you get mad at someone, put yourself in their shoes. You'd be surprised to see how often this practice leads to truce. But this is where we fail as a species and a race, because when we can't empathize together, then together we're disgraced. Well, the judge now sits in his courtroom next to his defense. He's listening to the charges he now has to fight against. It was a mistaken blur of judgment at a time of desperate need. He accepted cash for an acquittal because he too has a family to feed. See, greed overtook his mind, fighting every sensible thought, selfishly convicting, meanwhile praying he wouldn't be caught. And after hearing his fate with the verdict of guilt, he's thrown in a cell with the monsters he built. Now, what value is a dollar when compared beside a man? Well, according to the system, it's just enough to warrant a plan. A plan to take his freedom and all his living worth and then isolate his soul just as he was before his birth. We punish one another with the treatment we call just, but with self-given authority we forget in God we trust. Money isn't worth as much as human life, so why can it lock away a man and take him from his wife? See, prison's great to keep us safe from those who rape and kill. There's no room in there for those who cheated their last tax bill. The blur is in the system and its flaws bring confusion, and since the idea is deception, then prison is illusion. In law it's not harassment, they call it prosecution. They don't just want your money, they want execution. They build a case against you strong enough to kill your pride, then pray the state will trust the lies because they have everything to hide. A young man who started with nothing then turned it to a brand, took away his life to avoid the trial he would stand. And prosecutors won't see his face as it stands for the courts. Instead, they bury a kid. Rest in peace, Darren Schwartz. Is this really all it takes to be convicted to serve time? Won't let the money schemes for murder? Where's the violence in the crime? See, there's a border behind ethics, and now you're crossing the line. Why don't you put away the shackles and just charge him with a fine? And by no means am I promoting the practice of deceit, but I'd much rather lose money than find a person to defeat. Because when you lose a dollar, pick paper off a tree. See, they print faces on our leaves that say that money isn't free. But people come from people. There's a value in our breed. The illusion has them hungry, so they need cash to feed the greed. And just as a reminder, this is the land of the free. Are you going to give Edward Snowden life because he wants privacy? This is the world I'll live in, then I'll leave it without miss. Because I can't stand to see the ignorance until I start to see the bliss.